Joshua says, hey, Bradley, you said in an older video that you used another vendor when you started your link business. Which vendor would you use if you want to initially start topical link service, but don't have budget yet for getting my own good high DR domain and putting content on them? Okay, um, so Joshua, just to clarify, the, the, uh, I don't use DR as a metric anyway. I really don't care about that. I care if it's relevant first. If, it, if, if you can find relevant domains, then you can use DR as a secondary metric. But um, when somebody asks me a question about relevant, you know, relevancy from links, and then they squeeze DR into there, they're, all, in my opinion, are already thinking of the wrong thing. And my, and I'm not picking on you, Joshua. I'm just saying that because uh, I think it should be based on relevance first and foremost. DR is a secondary metric. Um, but how do you, uh, if which vendor would you use if you want to initially start topical link service, but don't have a budget yet? Well, I'm going to tell tell you me <laughs> because I tested and I'm not kidding. I'm not saying that for, I mean, for any other reason other than I was unable to find anybody else that could provide links that are as relevant as the links that are that we provide at semantic links. And that's not a joke. I'm not saying that guys, because I just want to funnel more business to me. I'm being hundred percent honest here. Like that is why I started a link building business. I promise you, if I had found a link source, that could provide links as relevant as what I do at Semantic Links, I would have not have started a link building business. Full stop. I had no desire to start a link building business. And then I discovered this method, tested with it, as I've been talking a lot about today, testing. I tested with it and it fucking worked. And there was nobody out there that offered that. So I started a business around it. I had no desire to start a link building business. Just so you guys know. <laughs> But I found through testing a method that worked incredibly well and nobody else offered it. So I started offering it and I'm glad I did, but um, I don't know of anybody to this day that still does. I mean, I know of some vendors that I used that said that they sold topically relevant links and to a degree, they were, they were more relevant than a lot of the other link providers, but they still weren't fully relevant. I provide hundred percent relevance matching or, or as, as close to hundred percent relevance matching as I can possibly do get. Sometimes there might be some slight loss of relevance, uh, but it's it, they're they're very very relevant. So, Joshua, you can use my links. If you're going to do a lot of volume. Contact. I mean, you know, you got to start slow. But uh, you know, if you're a volume buyer, I you know you could potentially arbitrage my links. I got a, a, a was on a semantic links call, a, a, a sales call with a. Um, a female the other, earlier this i think it was this no it was last week sorry anyway um she was talking about how she does seo work and um she's on upwork a lot and she picks up a lot of jobs on upwork because of people that are posting for needing seo help so she does a lot of work on upwork as an seo provider by just looking for people that are posting jobs and then she communicates with them and so she came to me and said look i want to arbitrage your services i said that's brilliant that's brilliant. Just go out. I mean, again, because she doesn't need to fulfill. All she needs to do is be, you know, have a communication, um, develop the communication to do, to contact people that are posting jobs on Upwork that need help. And then so she, she's she got a system that she's good at communicating with them and offering her services and enclosing them on hiring her. But she doesn't want to do the fulfillment. And I said, that's beautiful because then it's your job just to manage the SEO work that you're white labeling through somebody else, semantic links, for example. Um, and then she's just making money by marking that up, by managing it, knowing what to do, and then marking that up. So that's a good way to do it, right? It's arbitrage. I think that's a great strategy, right? Use somebody else's service that you know has a good service and mark it up and sell it. Then you can focus on generating revenue instead of the technical fulfillment, right? Make money first.